Hello, David here, and the project for today is to provide an update on the status of my channel. Some of you wonder where I got the channel name. I began the channel to create training videos for work. We began a new training program, or rather a new procurement program, for which I had to train all of our customers in the field. I created a training video so I wouldn't have to travel to each customer to train them. I used to work for the government printing office before I retired, therefore I added GPO after my first name. Very creative, huh? From there I decided to create how-to videos to share my vast knowledge and or lack thereof with others. YouTube changed their monetization policy in February, requiring monetized channels to have at least 1,000 subscribers and a minimum of 4,000 hours of views per year. I had the hours, I had 12,000 hours, but I only had 950 subscribers, so YouTube demonetized my channel. I came up to the 1,000 subscriber mark in March, but was notified by YouTube that they were overworked with the monetization backlog and I wouldn't be re-monetized for another three weeks. I'm okay with that. There isn't that much money involved in this channel. I do not plan to start a Patreon page. The videos on my channel are comprised of a variety of subjects. I'm interested in car repairs, tools, home repairs, firearms, and cooking. Not necessarily in that order. I was recently notified that YouTube is taking a hard light stance against firearms. YouTube announced that certain firearm videos are okay while others will be banned. A banned video will receive a strike, which is a warning. YouTube is attacking the Second Amendment rights by attacking our First Amendment rights. Any channel that accumulates three strikes will be terminated. This video ban is retroactive, meaning that any video published in the past that fails YouTube censorship guidelines will receive a strike. YouTube has hired a community activist group called the Southern Poverty Law Center to decide which videos are, shall be banned. YouTube's determination of which videos will be banned is arbitrary, in my opinion. I'm not clear which of my videos will be banned, if any. A channel as small as mine is not supported by a human contact in YouTube, so there's no one there to give me any advice. Since I'm not sure which of my firearm videos will be banned, <coughs> I made all of my firearm videos private, and that's why you can't find them. I was told that private videos that YouTube does not like can be banned. Others say no, private videos won't be banned. This may mean that my channel will be taken down entirely. I just don't know. If I don't get closed down, I will incrementally repost the firearm videos. At one time, I mentioned that I was going to put my firearm videos on a site called Viral Herd. I only put one of my videos there. I did not like the way that site works, so I don't plan to use it any longer. My plan for the future, if I keep my YouTube channel, is to keep posting my non-firearm videos. My firearm videos will be posted to another video hosting forum. One forum that I like is called Full30. That site fully supports firearm videos, however it is by invitation only. Only the large players are there, for now. I was recently notified that Full30 is accepting applications from the smaller channels and will allow us to create a channel at some time in the future. I submitted an application under the channel name David GPO, which is my YouTube name, and uh, I just don't know when that will happen. If I do lose my YouTube channel, I do not know if Full30 will let me upload non-firearm videos. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'm sure things will work out in the end, and if they don't, I want to thank you for watching my videos and wish you all the best life has to offer. Thanks.